Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to do Rockin' Me by the Steve Miller Band. So this is a fun one. It's going to be a nice short lesson. Not too hard to play. Mostly power chords. Fun stuff. Alright, so let's start here with this intro, which is heard a couple times in the song. I'm going to start with the power chord here at the 5th fret off the low E string. Play twice. Quick little down up. And then up to the 7th fret. And you kind of slide that down as you after you play it. All right, then back up to the seventh fret here, you're gonna play that power chord again. Then over off the fifth string, that power chord off the seventh fret on the fifth string. And then back down to the sixth. And slide back down. So we have this so far. Slow that down. And we come up to this cool little hammer on lick. All right, so that is just gonna be a bar at the ninth fret across the G. D and the A string. Now what you're going to do is you're going to pick the A string, hammer on the 11th fret, and then do an upstroke on the G and the D. So they all come together like... And then back to the... You're going to end the riff with, a, with the power chord of the 7th fret again slid down. So we have this all together. And then start over. So you're gonna do this part three times, that whole riff. Now, here we're gonna, they lead into this, sometimes a little weird, sometimes like. So just really listen for it. It's between those two chords there. You see that how that riff starts. It's kind of odd how they go into it sometimes throughout the song. And then we have this little thing that ends it. So now this is going to be, you know, sometimes when you see him play it live, he'll do it with an open D string, but on the recording, you can hear vibrato on it, so we're going to do it like that. So it's obvious he's playing it like that on the recording. So second fret on the low E, then the open A, then two, then that fifth fret, back to zero two. So like this. And repeat it. All right, and now we just have the verse, which is pretty simple, just three power chords. So that's a, sounds like this. All right, so it's just three different chords, all power chords, starting here at the second fret off the fifth string kind of muted, then the open A power chord, then the open E power chord, and then you're back to the D power chord that started it. All right, now we have this chorus that is done. You can play it up here, which it sounds like he's doing the recording because you can hear him slide into this part, which is that part happens later in the song as well. But it kind of sounds like this. All right, so we have that little melody line in there during the chorus. Same chord, so it's just, we're gonna play this chord instead of here, but here which you can play either or during the song. You can still do this here. But it's basically, you're gonna be playing the power chord and then to end it with, that's the sixth fret on the D to the seventh fret on the D. You're gonna be muting that A string in there. And then we're gonna take it, so we have this. Then the A power chord, just open A and the second fret on the D together. And then four, five on the D, still with that open A in there. And then the same thing down here. And then back. And then back to that riff that we did in the intro. Uh, now, once again, you can do that chord here. 
Now sometimes you'll hear them actually, they still do the same melody at the end of it, but they'll go. Kind of making it that Chuck Berry thing. All right, so the verse and the chorus are the same except for that little melody that is added to the chorus. And then we have that intro riff that happens a few times. And there you have it. That's all the parts that you need to know for uh, Rockin' Me. It's a lot of fun. Hope you get it down. I'll see you again soon for GuitarLessons365.com.